Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Today we are back with the Foresight Sports GC Quad Golf Launch Monitor to give you a first look at the putting analysis add-on that's available. All right, so we have the club head data add-on for our GC Quad, but there's also available the putting analysis. So what this does is, is this actually allows you to place fiducials or circle stickers as you've seen in the past, the reflective stickers. Uh, Fiducial essentially is a tracker for a camera. All right, and I'll show you guys really quick what those look like when you place them on a putter. I'll just get that to focus in for you so you understand what we're talking about right out of the gate. You'll see there are two located towards the toe, one located towards the heel, and those fiducials allow the quadroscopic technology, that's the four cameras with infrared in the GC quad, to track the putter as it's coming in, both tracking path, face angle, angle of attack, club head speed, and then also all kinds of ball data. We're gonna show you all of that inside of software today, along with the built-in screen in the GC Quad, which we haven't shown you guys in the past videos. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of content coming. This is just a first look video, and we're doing the putting inside today. We'll also be taking the GC Quad outdoor, all right, but I figured this was a great opportunity to show you what you could do inside. We're right outside the GSV studio using our well putt mat, all right, what I like about this is, is we're gonna use the Foresight Sports performance fitting software. And what this does is it kind of takes the simulation out of it. So we're not worried about the speed or the distance necessarily. The performance software is giving us all of the data for the club head and the ball to allow us to work on things, all right? So I'm not gonna be, you could work on speed. It does have ball speed, all right? And it also has club head speed. Um, well, I'll show you all of those factors. And I've had things a little different today, as you noticed. I'm not recording the screen on the iPad because it was having some difficulty uh, matching up, all right? I think it had some lag in the video recording, so we're just actually gonna do an actual physical recording of the screen, so I wanna make sure you guys get the best quality, so I apologize if that's a little different today. So let's go ahead and start off by showing you how to align the GC Quad, which I've done in one of the past videos, but you wanna do this for putting as well. Now, don't get me wrong, the GC Quad aligns itself to its horizontal alignment, default alignment out of the gate, okay? 0.0, .0 for how that is aligned square to whatever you know alignment target you have it. I set mine down and don't worry about that too much because all I have to do is grab my alignment stick. I'm gonna use the line that's right on my uh, well putt mat, and you can see I'm off a little bit, 0.7 to the right. There's a small audible sound, also lets you know that you're, uh, you can remove the stick when you're done. So just remove it from the view, you're all set and ready to go. And we can put this aside, all right? I think that's fantastic and easy to use. I always recommend aligning the quad that way. So one of the things I'll talk about really quick as we're getting ready to hit our first putt is the built-in screen on the GC quad. So what I've found nice is, we've already started to test this outdoor on the putting green, is I can set this down and get all of the data parameters right on the built-in screen. And that's why I wanted to record that screen today to show you guys that. So I mean, you have everything from your speeds, your launch angles, um, your skid, um, you, have, uh, you can see their club path, angle of attack, your lie angle, your loft, face to path, even the impact on the putter, the ball hitting the putter, um, all kinds of great stuff. So let's just go ahead and hit a putt. Then we will look at uh, all of the data parameters that are provided. We'll talk about them a little bit and we can go from there. So let's hit a quick putt, try to go straight down the line here. Not too bad for our first putt. You can see that comes up right away on our built-in screen, but we're also gonna come over here to the performance fitting software and see exactly what happened. So I was 2.6 degrees path out to in and my face was 0.9 open to target, all right? 0.6 degrees to the right is where that ball was actually rolling, and I can actually change face to path as well. I was 3.4 degrees open face to path, all right? Now you can see the loft on my putter, and my angle of attack was 0.1 down. Now that's something I've been working on personally with my PGA professional, is I was hitting down on, on my putts, and uh, you definitely don't wanna do that. You wanna be hitting up, all right? So a um, couple things you know that you wanna work on, not only controlling distance, but uh, you know your angle of attack is very important on putting. I suggest if you're gonna get a putting lesson, you speak to your PGA professional about all this, and if you can 
share data, whether you're using a launch monitor or they're using a launch monitor, it's amazing how it allows them to work with you. All right, so uh, launch angle is zero because I kept that ball on the ground, all right? So then the lower left-hand quadrant, we're moving up to the upper right-hand quadrant. You'll see your ball speed, you'll see your club head speed, giving you a smash factor. Now, from what I've been told so far, I haven't had a chance to go over this a lot with my PGA professional, um, but other professionals out there uh, have indicated that you want that efficiency to be towards that 1.50 number, all right? Um, down in the lower right-hand quadrant, you can see I was toe up 2.2 degrees. I love how I hit the ball dead center zero millimeters, okay, but I was six millimeters low, all right, so I was a little bit low versus the, the center of the putter. Now, it's really nice how you can just swipe on the screen. They can swipe over here to the right, and you can see it brings up the ball, all right, all of the ball data. So I have the ball speed, 4.5 miles per hour. Launch angle, obviously, zero because I kept it on the ground. My launch spin was 198 of backspin, all right? It didn't carry at all because it didn't let out, lift off the ground, and it skidded for 20.2 inches before the time to roll, 0.31 seconds, started rolling a foot and eight inches later, all right? So that's your distance to roll, okay? Rolling spin was 609 RPMs, and you can see how I pushed that slightly to the right, and I can see that right here, how that ball was right at the center. Now, do keep in mind as you watch me hit a few pots, my floor here, right outside the studio, this is a rough basement cement floor. It's not perfectly level, but that's why I don't focus on the long rollout as much as I do with the data, which is really nice, and I figured that was something that I need to point out to you guys um, and why I like working on the inside, not just the outside. So here's your table that I'm gonna show you after we hit a few putts, but let's just go ahead and stay on the club data for now. And why don't we hit a putt as square as we possibly can first. All right, I'm gonna try to hit one of my best putts here. See if I can keep this path and face nice and square. I'm not gonna focus on anything else. See how that looks. Was that any better? 0.4 in to out, all right? Face to target, 0.4. Now, that really shows you that if you focus on a data parameter, how it can change. Now, some other things changed, all right? You can see I was hitting down on the ball a little bit, and you can see my impact was actually nine millimeters on the heel and nine millimeters low. So I really kind of, you know, changed my putt uh, for the better as far as face and target, but my impact point actually had some sacrifice there uh, for sure. You can see my ball speed and club head speed again. Uh, let's swipe to the uh, right, and then you can see things changed a little bit here. The ball actually lifted off the ground and it carried 0.1 inches. Very small amount, all right, very small amount. Um, and you can see the other data parameters actually had a skid of 19.1 inches, all right. Um, and then what we can do is we can hit another putt. I'll try to con you know, kind of combine all these things and see if I can maybe get a little better strike, maybe hit this with a little up angle of attack now my PJ professional, when we were working on this, told me to bring the ball maybe a little forward in my stance and a little more wrist action would allow me to actually get my putter moving up at impact. So I'm gonna see what I can do here to maybe get that fixed. And like I said, I never wanna give you guys advice. I'm just talking about my own swing and what I'm working on. Um, I want you to seek a PGA professional so you can get a putting lesson using data like this. That felt pretty good. Right down to the end of the mat. Much better strike. Look at this. Path into out zero. Now my face was open to target 2.5 degrees. Face to path 2.4 degrees, and that ball did go a little to the right, all right? But notice, I'm now hitting 0.2 up, and I actually hit that on the center of the putter, all right? A little bit low off of the center line, but I hit the center of the putter. Um, and it's, you know, obviously reading that very easily because I have these dots perfectly spaced for the center point of the line, all right? So it's able to measure that, okay, with those fiducials, um, and it felt like it. I mean, I could, I could hear the ball when I hit it in the center, um, what it sounded like, the way it rolled. Um, that's really good stuff. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys a bad putt. All right, let's say I'm gonna take my putter and I'm going to, just so you guys know, I always line my ball up 
with alignment on the line that I'm putting. Um, you know, you might be able to see that in the uh, camera angle there. I tried to give you guys a good angle, lower down, straight onto the ball so you could see, you know, kind of a good perspective. Um, but let's see if I can hit a bad putt. So I'm actually gonna take my putter and I'm gonna come from the inside with the face a little open and see what kind of reading we get. Obviously that ball was going right. Let's see what the data looks like. 3.1 degrees in to out, 3.4 degrees open, all right, face to path, face to target, 6.5 degrees. I mean, coming from the inside with an open face, obviously makes sense. It was 6.1 degrees to the right, which I mean, I was getting close to the edge of the mat there. Now I did hit that towards the center of the putter, which was nice, a little bit low again, and my attack angle was down, all right? So let's look at some options that you have inside of your software. So first off, you'd wanna add your user, okay, which I've already done, and you wanna add a session, all right? Now, over here in the shot, that's where you're going to pick your club. In this case, I picked putter, all right? And I put Scotty in there. We're using a Scotty Cameron putter today. Um, you could use a shot identification color. We don't have to worry about uh, range balls, okay? And that's where you would add uh, the club that you're working on. You could identify maybe different shafts or uh, you know clubs that you're hitting, whatever it may be, all right? Now, once we swipe over here to the table, you'll notice that we have ball data, okay? All your different ball data, and then also club data, all right? And then here's where it gets really cool. See the email shot data? You can actually take this session and email it off to whomever you might be working with. Is it a swing coach, a PGA professional, someone you may be going to get a putter fitting for and say, hey, look, here's a session that I just had with my putter. You know, maybe prep them on uh, what is going on now so they have a little idea of what's gonna happen when you show up for your session, all right? Um, all of these things I just find uh, really amazing. Um, I'll hit one more putt for you guys really quick. Um, this is obviously a first look video. We've actually only been diving into the putting recently. And what I'm gonna try to do is, is I'm gonna try to get my PGA professional. He said if we can uh, arrange things, we could go out on the outdoor putting green. We could talk about the data, do some examples outside. Um, and that way you guys um, can get a little more information on how the data, you know, uh, essentially gets transitioned into a lesson and uh, what they see and what they'd like you do, to do. Um, now, keep in mind, keep your eyes on the internal screen uh, of the GC Quad, all those numbers matching up with the software. One thing I will touch on really quick, just so you know, FSX Mobile is available for uh, mobile devices such as iPad and iPhone. Um, I've been using that. And then also you can use your putting analysis inside the FSX 2020 software, all right? So the simulation is available and the putting data is also available inside of those software. Like I said, if I'm really gonna work on my putting, I like using the performance app. I feel like it narrows it down to path, face, impact, uh, ball data, things like that, um, where you're really not worried about, you know, how fast the green is or, you know, any type of undulation uh, break in the green. Um, what I'm trying to do here is just work on the strike. Oh no, did uh, my one camera, turn off on me, I think it did. Now why did that happen? Let's go ahead and just hit record one more time. Perfect. All right, we'll just patch those together, no big deal. And then let's go ahead and hit one more putt for you guys. I think I might have a recording limit on that camera. That'll be easy to put together for you guys though. How did that look? Man, things are getting better. 0.6 into out, uh, 0.6 open to path, all right? Uh, a little bit on the heel, a little bit low, but close, you know, and only four millimeters off. And, uh, and I'm hitting 0.3 up. So I'm actually hitting up on the ball now, um, which is really a, a change for me. I think it's great. Let's look at the ball data. Um, you know, I did hit that just a little bit to the right. It was right of, right of center uh, when it took off. Um, skidded for 20.4. All right, and then uh, you can see my launch spin was 247 backspin, skid uh, obviously 20.4, which we mentioned, and then time to roll 0.35 seconds, and then distance to roll one foot eight inches, okay? Um, all of this data can even be used 
by someone like me, such as an amateur, all right, understanding it, getting a lesson with a professional, then being able to apply it at home and work on things, I think is just fantastic. It's something that I really appreciate and I'm going to continue to dive into and I'm gonna bring you guys more videos and useful information on how you can use the Foresight Sports GC Quad putting analysis add-on in your home or maybe outside on the putting green. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot more content coming and we'll talk to you soon.